the ab mat sit up. We want to use an ab mat that looks like this and have the thick part of it at the low of our back. Okay, you're going to sit like this and then come all the way back, arms extended, tap the ground, come up, tap the feet. Okay, so you're engaging your abs, flexing up the hip flexors. Simple, but effective. Side plank, reach throughs. So you're gonna start out in a regular side plank. I like to use a, a mat to put under my elbow. I have kind of bony elbows. You're gonna have your elbow stacked directly underneath your shoulder, and then your feet can either be stacked or staggered. Staggered is gonna be more stable. Stacked is gonna make you work a little bit harder, okay? Then you wanna make sure your hips are up, right? That they're not dropping down. Bringing your hips up is gonna make you work your obliques a lot more, and that's really what this exercise is targeting. So with your hips up, go ahead, extend your arm all the way up, and then you're gonna slowly reach through underneath your side. Really trying to keep everything nice and tight, making sure your hips don't drop down as you reach through. It's okay to rotate though. If that feels good, go ahead and add a dumbbell. The back squat, a crucial exercise to build strength in the quads and the glutes. Uh, I've been working, I've been doing my back squats and deadlifts uh, barefoot to try to get a little bit more foot stability. So when we set up, we want to think about externally rotating the hips or screwing the feet into the floor. And the way I think about that is by driving my knees out and thinking about pushing my hips out a little bit. And what that does is it really locks my feet into the floor. As I mentioned before, I have really, really bad ankle mobility. And so I tend to use uh, either a yoga mat or some plates or something to put underneath my heels. Uh, and that allows me to get into that squat position much easier. I'm also working on my ankle mobility. When we squat as cyclists, we're really aiming for parallel or just below parallel. We don't need to get into a super crazy low squat. Okay, so we wanna grab the bar. And then I'm gonna put my heels up on this yoga mat. I'm going to think about screwing my feet into the ground and having three points of contact with my feet. So that's underneath my big toe, underneath my little toe, and my heel. And then I'm going to brace my core. These are a great lower back and hamstring exercise. Definitely want to give yourself a good warm up here. So I like to warm up with a band. Uh, place the band around your shoulders. And then go ahead and, and step on it. And then what you're doing here is you're bracing your core and shooting your hips back and kind of folding your torso in half. And you're just folding so far as you feel your hamstrings engage. And then standing straight back up. So I'll do about 10 to 15 of these uh, for a good warm up before I move to the barbell. And if you're just starting out, you know, this might be your workout 
for the day. You could do it with a band, uh, do two or three sets and call it good. And then the next week, progress to the barbell. And then again, you're setting up hip distance apart, soft bend in the knees, thinking about bracing your core and shooting your hips back and folding at the torso. I call these a sneaker exercise because I often feel like I could have way more weight and then the next day, I, I really regret that decision. So definitely go slowly with these for the first week. Uh, maybe just stick with the bands and see how you feel the next day. So play around with it, have fun, enjoy those good mornings. So roll yourself out, get those hips up, okay? So we don't want to be down here, we want the hips up. Start with your arms extended, lower, and then press back up. The lat pull down is a great exercise at strengthening our back specifically our lats. So let me take you through it. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is get set up with this bar that holds your legs down. So this bar should be pretty snug and your feet should be flat. Once that's set, go ahead, stand up, adjust your weight, go ahead, sit down, make sure your feet are flat, and then pull the bar to your sternum. And actually tap the sternum right there. Extend so that your arms are, go to full extension. And just move nice, slowly, and deliberately. The moment you feel your form start to break down and you feel like you're struggling to tap the bar to your sternum, that's when it's time to stop. 